Hey guys, this is Sane here, and I'm here today to bring you a little gun review for the F2000. Alright, now this is a new gun that actually came out with the Second Assault DLC. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty new with it. Um, I got it pretty bare bones um, right now. I got a few attachments for it. But this is an interesting gun, um, but I don't think it's going to be a, a game-changing gun. I don't think you're going to see too many people choosing this gun over something like the AEK on the battlefield. Now let's go ahead and go over some of the stats that we have on this gun. Alright, starting off, the first thing you're going to wonder about this gun is the fire rate. We have 850 RPM for a fire rate. Um, not bad, pretty good. It's over the M416, but not quite as good as the AEK. So you would expect a kind of um, a medium recoil range between since it's between the AEK which has quite a lot of recoil and the M416 which doesn't seem to have that much recoil um, but let's go ahead and look at the the rest of the stats the max damage is 25 um, the minimum damage goes down to 18 so pretty normal assault rifle um, stats nothing big the actual uh, muzzle velocity is 600 meters per second the um, the magazine size is 31 rounds, so not bad. It's way better than the FAMAS, but the FAMAS, you know, has a, a thousand rounds per minute. But let's go to the thing that one of the big things that really um, that really takes away for this gun for me, um, the reload time. Uh, well, this is just one of the things. The reload time on this weapon. It seems like Dice has chosen to go with Battlefield 4 that the faster firing guns have a lot longer reload rate. Um, so the AEK, the FAMAS, you know, they nerfed the shit out of that in Battlefield 3 and they just went ahead and brought that same shit over to Battlefield 4. And this F2000 does not have a fast reload either. Alright, the, um, when you have one round left in the chamber, or just any ammo left in the, in the gun, it's 2.7 seconds. That's the short reload. Now 2.7 seconds, um, is deba debatably slow as it is that could be um, that's a that's a good amount of time to be waiting even for a long reload um, but the long reload is 3.9 seconds so practically four seconds you're gonna be waiting when you if you empty out your mag completely not a bullet in the chamber nothing it's gonna take you four seconds to reload this gun which if you're playing the gun how it's supposed to be played, which is close quarters, that's definitely going to leave a little bit of a hamper on you to have to be reloading for four goddamn seconds. But alright, let's go ahead and check out the recoil. Recoil is .24 up, .4 to the left, and .5 to the right. So it pulls a little bit to the right over the left. You probably will not notice it. Um, you're just going to notice mostly the kick straight up. But let me go ahead and tell you a little bit of what I think about this gun as it is. The gun's accuracy overall for long range kills is terrible. I actually prefer using the AEK over this gun. Um, the AEK has a faster fire rate of 900 rounds per minute over the uh, F2000's um, 850 rounds per minute and for me anyway the AK also seems to have a much more manageable recoil and better accuracy over distance. Now the hip fire on this gun is um, is pretty good but with the reload time it kind of has it um, it's a little bit difficult to get into that those close quarter combat situations um, but the mid-range you know I've heard some youtubers saying um, that it's completely terrible for mid-range you can't use it at mid-range at all it's just gonna be garbage you gotta stick to super close quarters um, which yes and no it's always good to try out the gun for yourself I found that at me um, that mid-range it wasn't too bad I was able to get some kills with it um, but as soon as you get out of that mid-range, that's really when you start feeling the gun. Um, the gun really take its toll. It's I don't understand how this gun just does not hit people. It's the recoil really isn't that bad on it, um, especially if you're tap firing it. But it just seems like the bullets are not going where you're telling it to go. Um, that's my take on the gun. Uh, 
to be honest with you, I don't see the reason for you to use this gun unless you like the, the aesthetics, the way it looks. Um, I always run with the AK over this gun. Um, I've been using the F2000. I got a couple service stars with it now, but I think that I will still continue to use the AEK for the faster fire rate, and at least for me, it has a more manageable recoil. Now, all right, guys, this is Saiyan signing out for Saiyan and Raxon. Now, if you did enjoy this video review for the F2000, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos like this one. Leave a comment in the comment section for what gun you'd like me to review next. Be sure to check us out on the next one, and I'll see you there.